Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of What's For Dinner. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor, I'm a stay-at-home mom and I share these What's For Dinner videos every week to hopefully motivate you to cook more for your family and to hopefully give you some new meal ideas as well. So if you like these kinds of videos, I hope that you will subscribe down below and come back and see my future videos. And if you are new here, make sure you comment down below and let me know that you are new. Welcome and I'm glad to have you here. As always, any recipes that I mention will be linked in the description box so let's go ahead and get into this week's what's for dinner friday night was the day after thanksgiving so we just had a bunch of leftovers we had leftovers of literally everything we had some ham and some turkey and some stuffing and some gravy mashed potatoes broccoli casserole corn casserole mac and cheese cranberry sauce there was also green bean casserole but i don't eat that so there was none of that on my plate i love thanksgiving leftovers so i always make sure to cook a lot so we have lots of leftovers to eat Okay, it is Saturday night and tonight we are using up some of our Thanksgiving leftovers. We're going to make some ham and cheese sliders. On my sheet pan, I've got some of these Sara Lee Artisano Bakery Rolls. And it's not the whole package. I've reserved four of the rolls for Andy's dinner when he comes home later this evening. That way he has some fresh little sliders. And I've gone ahead and cut these in half. So separated the tops from the bottoms. And I'm just going to add on a bunch of this ham from Thanksgiving and some cheddar cheese. And then whatever ham I don't use for this, we might eat a little bit tomorrow for lunch. And then after that, it's going in the freezer. Um, and I will use that at a later date. Make, I don't know, anything. Some hash brown casserole with ham, whatever you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this stuff on here. Okay, now in this little bowl, I've melted about two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna add just like, I don't know, a little dash of Worcestershire and I don't know, about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard and a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm gonna mix this up and brush it on the top of these sandwiches and then cover this with foil and bake at 350 for mm, probably about like 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, here is the finished dinner. It took 20 minutes, and then as you saw, I took the foil off, cooked it for another three, so the tops could get a little bit crispier. So we've got those, some barbecue chips, grapes, and a deviled egg for me and Elijah. Lily has no deviled egg, and she has pretzels instead of barbecue chips. That is going to be our easy dinner for Saturday. Sunday night I made a turkey noodle soup so like chicken noodle soup but with leftover Thanksgiving turkey instead. So I started off by heating a couple tablespoons of olive oil in a big pot and then once that was hot I added in some onion, some celery, and some carrot. And I just let that cook for about five minutes until they started to soften. Once my veggies started to get softened, I added in my turkey, some thyme, a bay leaf, and my broth. And for my broth, I just did water, and then I added in some nor chicken bouillon, and then I brought this to a boil. Once 
once this came to a boil i brought it down to like a medium low heat and then i just let it simmer for about 15 minutes After letting it simmer for about 15 minutes, I went in and added about eight ounces of egg noodles, and then I let that cook for about five to seven minutes until my noodles were tender. This soup was really good and a great way to use up some leftover turkey. I had never made like a turkey noodle soup before, but I will definitely do it again. And I just serve this the same way I do chicken noodle soup with some Cheez-Its on the side. It is Monday night and tonight for dinner we are having tacos. So I didn't make rice or beans or anything tonight. We are just having ground beef hard shell tacos. I was just trying to use up like stuff that we pretty much had on hand. Um, and I did get like some tomato and lettuce from the grocery store, but everything else we already had in the fridge and whatnot we've got our favorite queso it's the um el terrifico white cheese dip from sam's club it's delicious i've got some what is this what brand is this salsa uh mateo's gourmet salsa i get that at uh walmart it's delicious sometimes aldi has it too but not usually just got some ground beef some cheese, some lettuce, some tomato, some sour cream, and then some taco sauce, Taco Bell taco sauce. Lily has tomatoes on her taco, salsa, cheese dip, and I've got chips on the table. And then Elijah has lettuce instead of tomato. That is going to be our dinner for Monday. It is Tuesday morning and tonight for dinner we are going to have pulled pork sandwiches. So in the crock pot I've just added my pork or hunk o proc as Andy labeled the bag when he helped me separate the meat from Sam's Club. Um, so I've got that in there and I'm just gonna season it all over with this applewood rub. This I bought on Markdown at Kroger a while ago, I think. It doesn't have a sticker on it though. Or maybe I bought that at Dollar Tree. Maybe it was Dollar Tree. I don't know, I never buy like rubs and stuff like this. Um, I always get them, or I never buy them full price. I always get them like really cheap. Um, because you can just make this yourself with like the seasonings and like brown sugar and stuff But if I can find it for cheap, then I will pick it up So I'm gonna rub some of that all over the pork and then toss on some of this barbecue sauce This is the Carolina style barbecue sauce from Aldi um, The other one is our favorite, but I want to use up this bottle because it was already in the fridge So I'm gonna get that in there and then just let this cook on low all day Okay, it's about five o'clock now. We're not quite ready for dinner, but this is looking done. I just opened it up a second ago and checked it. It is super tender. It's just gonna fall apart. So what I'm gonna do is just shred this up and let it sit in this liquid. And I'm gonna turn it down to warm and just let it sit on warm until we're ready to eat, probably in about an hour. Okay, here is dinner. We're just having our barbecue pulled pork sandwiches with some Kraft macaroni and cheese, super simple, and then some fresh veggies. Lily's got cucumbers and tomatoes. They are splitting a sandwich, and they've got some American cheese on there. And then if they're hungry, there's more mac and cheese, and there's more pulled pork, like plenty. We will end up freezing some of this as well to use in other recipes like Brunswick stew and whatnot. Elijah has carrots and ranch instead of tomatoes. I've got a little bit of tomatoes and a little bit of carrots and ranch. I have no cheese on my sandwich. I just have some extra barbecue sauce. This is our favorite one from Aldi. It's the Kansas City style one. 
Um, if you can find it right now, it's going to be in their like seasonal aisle because they don't carry it at this time. Um, and they're like clearancing them out. So if you find it, it's probably going to be on clearance. It's our favorite. Along with that other one that I shared earlier, the Carolina one, that one is also a seasonal item. It's like a spring, summer kind of thing. So I always stock up on them so that I have them on hand in the fall and winter. And uh, yeah, that is going to be dinner for Tuesday night. Wednesday night, I tried a new recipe for chicken and gnocchi in the crock pot. This recipe comes from my friend Kat over at Southern Farm and Kitchen. It's supposed to be like chicken and dumplings, but with gnocchi, which is basically like potato dumplings. Um, it's super easy to put together. So I started off with two chicken breasts in the crock pot, and then I seasoned it with some garlic powder and some garlic and herb seasoning, and then a lot of black pepper. And then I go in with two cans of cream of chicken soup, and then I filled both of those cans up with some water, making sure I got all of that good stuff off the inside of the can. And, and then I put in some chicken bouillon. Um, she said three bouillon cubes, I believe. I just did three teaspoons of chicken bouillon and I mixed it around a little bit. And then this cooked on low. No, it cooked on high for five hours that simple it's so easy and I will have Kat's video linked down below she shared it um, a couple months ago um, but I will have that link down below for you guys so you can find it easy go show Kat some love I love her she does lots of food videos on her channel all kinds of good looking stuff so make sure you check her out if you haven't already So once this was done cooking, I just went in and shredded up all of this chicken really well, mixed everything together really well, and then I added in two packs of potato gnocchi. I buy mine at the Dollar Tree. It's good. Um, just as good as I think what you can buy at Walmart or anywhere else. Um, I'm sure there's better out there, but I, you can't beat it for a dollar. The one at, I think, Walmart is $1.98, so you save a dollar um, on one pack. So I think it's pretty good. And that's the one that I usually use in my recipes. As long as I can find it at Dollar Tree, I buy it there. So I added that in, and I turned the crock pot down to warm and just let this sit for 15 to 20 minutes until the potato gnocchi was done. It gets tender, and they puff up just a little bit. And then I tasted this for seasoning and I ended up adding some more pepper. But other than that, it was delicious as it was. It was a great substitute for chicken and dumplings. You didn't have to do all that work for dumplings. I will definitely be making this again. We all loved it. Make sure you check out Kat's video. It will be linked down below. It is Thursday night and tonight for dinner we are having Mississippi pot roast made in the crock pot with our carrots and potatoes. I've shared this many times before so I'm not going to show it step by step in this what's for dinner. Um, I am also vlogging today so that vlog went up on Friday. Y'all are seeing this on Sunday. So I will leave that link down below. If you haven't seen Mississippi pot roast or you missed that vlog that will be linked down below for you guys. It's definitely a family favorite. We love this. I say that every time. It's a must try. Some people will argue that they don't like it. We love it. And I think it is a must try. And it's definitely a staple in our house. So I'm not hungry yet. But here are the kids plates. They like to eat it over rice. As does my husband Andy. And I just eat it as it is. Potatoes, carrots, and meat. But that is going to be dinner for Thursday. And that is going to do it for this week's What's for Dinner. It's another short one. Um, I felt like I still shared some pretty good new meals with you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you plan on trying any of these recipes, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.